हेलो एवरी वन आई एम लोकेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर जस्ट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दी लेटेस्ट टी सी एस निंजा इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एंड टूडे वी हैव अरूव विद अस ही विल शेयर हिज इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद ऑल ऑफ यू दैट हाउ ही क्रैक दी टी सी एस निंजा एग्जाम विद ऑल राउंड प्रोसेस एंड ही जस्ट गॉट दी ऑफर लेटर in 5 to 6 days after uh, means the ninja results will declared he will got the interview mail from tcs team and after he will get the badge and after that there is a offer letter means the final results so this video is very useful and uh, i am just adding abhirup on this screen and we will start the today's interview experience okay now you can hello abhirup how are you i am fine sir how are you so i am also fine and first of all congratulation from online learning team that uh, you are selected for the role of tcs ninja thanks a lot thanks okay. a lot to online learning team and you also yes yeah. and uh, my first question about you like a brief introduction about yourself yeah sure uh, hi all i am aviru vajra uh, i am belong to the city kolkata and currently pursuing my btech Uh, in electrical engineering from Techno International Newtown College, and I've done my schooling from Sri Ramakrishna Shikshala Howrah. And apart from my core stream, I like Python programming language and machine learning so much. And I've also done uh, three or four projects on it. And apart from technical skill gaining, I've also done two internships on management. One was at Palle uh, Mari Sharodhorgo Anandu Bazar Putrika, and another one as uh, uh, event management intern at. Lance International Club. Okay, okay. So uh, this is all about that. So means, uh, may I know about your branch? What uh, branch you are belonging from? Yeah, I am from electrical branch. My second question is all about that. Uh, how do you get to know about this opportunity? Mean this is on campus or off campus opportunity? Yeah, for me, this is basically both opportunities because uh, I used to check TCS career website uh, frequently about yes. their job openings, about their. Uh, basically, I am from 2022 to pass out, so I am yeah. looking for that opportunities. And yeah. also, I got a mail from our respected PTO sir that uh, TCS Ninja on campus drying is going on. So it's yes. basically both for me. Okay. So uh, can you brief uh, means all about the interview process? Like uh, as we all know about that the TCS conduct its NQT examination, and we all know about the first is cognitive section, and after that there is a programming section. but what yes. about the interview process means uh, please uh, explain in detail like about your interview pro uh, process like tr mr and hr round okay okay so uh, for briefing uh, i got my interview mail on 38 uh, september okay. and my interview scheduled on 1st october the very okay. next day yes yes so uh, i have got a very little uh, time to prepare all those things which have been mentioned in my resume yes. because i have to answer all those uh so my interview was on 1st october and it it was scheduled from 9:15 am uh, actually for all of my college uh, mates it it is uh, scheduled at 9:15 am okay so there is no fixed schedule for everyone yes. you have to just enter the lobby uh the platform was microsoft teams okay and you have to just wait like it can be 5 pm or it can be 4 pm or it can be yes. if you are lucky enough you can get a call in 9:15 pm itself yes yes so uh, i am I belong to the middle one. I got my, I was waiting uh, from nine fifteen a.m. in the morning, and I got my interview call uh, at about twelve p.m. in the noon. Yes, yes. So yes. Uh, when I joined the interview, uh, there was total four panelists was there. Uh, from them, uh, one panelist, uh, his camera was on, okay. and he asked me to uh, he first of all greetings me like how I'm doing and all those things. Yes, and then he asked me to uh, show any ID card on my screen like this, and he uh, snaps out one picture from me. Okay. Then he just uh, log off, and the other uh, uh, except the, except him, there was other three panelists here. Yes, yes. And I suppose that there uh, there was T R M R N A S H A. Okay. Uh, for me, the T R M R N A S H A was in a single round. Okay. In a single interview. Yes, so yes. There are three. there are three panelists in the single interview for yes, uh, yes, for yes. some for some of the candidates like first tr and mr completed after uh, two to three days hr will be yes. announced or hr will be conducted yes yes but yes, but yes. for me uh, there was initially four panelists 
yes a uh, yes. one uh, snapshot of me with my id card and okay. just uh, off yes. and then a uh, three panelist was there okay and i suppose uh, uh, they are uh, tr mr and hr yes yes okay so uh, after my uh, document verification okay uh, i think the tr uh, one asks uh, start asking me question that uh, uh, good morning and how are you doing yes yes and then he asks that you are from electrical right and okay. i said yes sir and then said uh, so why you are uh, choosing uh, it over electrical yes so i answered that uh, i answered that like uh, uh, when i was in my first year i started like i started learning python okay so and for by that time i used to love that so i thought that why not uh, switch to software engineering it field yes, yes. so i answered it like like that and then he asked uh, directly what is your favorite subject from your academy so i told him uh, control system but not at that extent then he asked me that uh, you have circuit theory in your uh, academy i said yes but yes. i am not confident enough because i don't like electrical subject at all yes, uh, which yes. is my branch itself yes but uh, i said yes sir it was there in my first year in uh, um circuit theory but i don't remember it now because i don't like electrical subjects at all yes. i am more into cs subjects yes yes I, you are yeah, more listen. you are more interested in the it and cs subject yes, i i am clearly mention it because uh, like that if they don't uh, continue asking me core questions so i clearly mention that i don't like electrical subjects at all i am more into cs subjects yes, yes so then he said oh it, it's okay Okay. uh then he checked my resume i think okay. uh, the panelist checked my resume before and okay and then uh, he asked that uh, rate yourself uh, in python okay so i said uh, sir out of 10 i will give 7 in python then he asked me that uh, uh, what is the difference between list and tuple which is very common question nowadays yes, yes. Uh, from python yes. and i answered that then i answered that like i said Uh, one is mutable or one is not mutable immutable immutable, immutable. then immediately he asks me explain what is mutable and what is immutable, and, um, mutable. yes then I, i explained all those things yeah and then he asks that what is lambda function okay so yeah i said it's an anonymous function and etc etc then okay. he direct uh, uh, tell me that okay uh, write a uh, lambda function for a uh, uh, function that takes three input from user Okay. And return the multiplication of the three number. Nothing else, nothing more. Just this simple code using lambda function. Yes, yes. So uh, from my previous interview experiences from your channel, that yes, yes. Uh, we have to see at the screen and uh, open the notepad for that. Because yes. as a platform as Microsoft Teams, so there is no inbuilt uh, software that we can write code there. Yes, yes. For other from like Superset, it was there in the. platform itself like we can code there but from but for microsoft teams there is no features like we yes. can code so i uh, i directly ask uh, uh, him that uh, should i see on my screen or open notepad this is yes. uh, no 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 you can write it in okay. chat okay. they will check your confidence one important point in most of yeah. the interview they will check the candidate confidence so we uh, was done with his interview he just yes. said to the next uh, mr uh, panelist that okay you, you can proceed So the MR one uh, MR panelist asked me that uh, what was your project? What is your final year project? So I said that uh, uh, our final year project, which is based on academic, is not started yet. This group yeah. allocation is done, but apart from that, I have uh, done three projects on uh, on myself. That uh, one and on those three was on was on machine machine learning itself. So the next question was uh, what was your projects? i just mentioned the topic of the project nothing details they ask because uh, for some of the candidates who are uh, telling more than enough more than they ask they are uh, <laughs> disqualifying like they are yes, yes. their experience is so bad yes 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 i i learned from them yes yes, yes. like like they are saying that if i uh, should i ask you to that no right yes, just yes. answer whatever i ask yes yes so i uh, tell them that uh, that my three projects names Okay. And then the MR uh, panelist asks me directly that what is machine learning? Okay. A very basic question. Yes, yes. Then I ask them what is machine learning, and yes. the next question and the final question from MR round was uh, where did you get get the data from? 
Okay. For, for, for all of your projects. Yes. So I simply answered that I used the free website Kaggle uh-huh. for data. And and I also add that I'm uh, learning the wave scraping using Python. Yes. So yeah, that that's all for Mimar round, and he was really impressed. And then he uh, asked the HR guy to proceed. Okay. So you can proceed. And when the HR guy starts, he just asks me four to five questions, like very basic questions. Okay. Even that is not question. That's just confirmation. Like, do you have any backlogs? Okay. Uh, what is your score uh, for ten, twelve, and graduation? Okay. And uh do you aware of the tcl agreement yes. tcs agreement i said yes yes sir it's of one year i know that yes yes sir. okay and he asked that uh, if you get a chance to work with tcs right now right from today uh can you join i said yes sir obviously why yes, not yes. and that's all and and see uh, and i'm uh, sorry and the panelists uh, uh shared one mail id that is his personal mail id in the chat box and he said that uh right after the interview is over please send all of your scanned documents of uh, 10 12 and graduation mark sheet right after the interview in this mail okay and that's all means this is the complete process this is the complete interview experience of tr mr and hr round so yes. uh, means uh, my next question is my next question is uh, how means uh, how candidates prepare for the interview like uh, so many candidates have interview ongoing uh, in the month of october so what is the advice to viewers uh, that is related to placement related like uh, how you prepared uh, from interview how you prepared for interview okay uh, for interview purpose first of all i would like to uh, suggest go through your resume whichever you have done or, or whichever you have mentioned in your resume made be one project or made be non project or made be one technical skill or one programming language go through your resume very carefully because they they are going to check your resume entirely yes yes and if there is something in your resume and they ask from there and you can't answer then it's a very bad impression like they will literally uh, to, uh, say you that like you have mentioned this but uh, you can't answer this question yes 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 in so many yeah. videos i just mentioned that prepare your resume first because they will yes, ask yes. so many questions from resume ha uh, so, so many my friends uh, told me that uh, there is nothing uh, significant in my resume yes uh, should i uh, have i a chance just just go through your resume because yes. if someone having no project at all or very minimal uh, basic knowledge even they are uh, so getting qualified yes. right so see your projects Uh, go through your resume and obviously projects and whichever, whichever project you have mentioned uh, have a basic knowledge at least of your yes. Uh, projects. Yes. And uh, and for HR round, be calm and listen the questions very carefully. First of all, don't yes. try to answer immediately. First, listen the question carefully and then pause for two or three seconds. Okay. If you uh, if you wish to think the question, then uh, say the, uh, you can tell the HR that uh, give me a second. I am remembering it or I am preparing. Yeah. You can you can tell them, but don't just go on right at the end of the question. Like yes. you will end up missing everything. Yes. Yes. And, and this is and, the very this is the very good suggestion for candidates. Like uh, you just uh, say that uh, what. Uh, are there some suggestions for hr round and uh, go through your resume so my last question is uh, what is your feedback for online learning channel that uh, how our channel are helpful in your preparations and in your placement preparations like you cleared the two placements uh, like capgemini and uh, tcs so what is your feedback yeah obviously i am uh, connecting i have i have been a member of this channel since the very first we've uh, been of him since very long yes and one thing i would i would like to highlight that every uh, whenever any job notification or internship notification on on campus or off campus drive is uh, there uh, you just put it on there and there yes yes you, you don't you, you just don't bother like uh, your uh, frequency of videos you just uh, put videos for ourselves on any time like i can see your videos on uh, 12 or, or in the night or uh, uh, i just uh, i just mentioned this point here like for the tcs ninja uh, result uh, i just made the uh, video on 130 am okay for yes, all of yes. you that uh, you will all you all of you get the notification that is related to tcs ninja whenever any notification now you just yes. uh, make video on very quickly and yes yes, yes. We, can, we can get the right and exact information 
from your channel thank you so I much love- and uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, for uh, giving the feedback and thank you so much for your valuable interview experience uh, and uh, one important point uh, if you got any query from any candidate okay like so many candidate ask uh, some uh, queries uh, that is related to interview experience uh, so just uh, mention all about that and uh, if you want to uh, some uh, me, if you want to some share tips uh, on uh, uh, means the telegram channel so you can just uh, you can just add the, your interview experience on the telegram channel also okay 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 thank you so much for giving your interview experience and wish you all the best for your next journey thank you so much thank you